OK, here we go. Our next guest is quite simply one of the most famous women in the world. That's the Britney Spears song that's been stuck in your head since 1998. And since then, Britney has gone on to become one of the most successful recording artists of all time. So where do you go when you've conquered the world of pop? Well, like Celine, Elvis and Liberace, you head to Vegas. Britney Spears, thanks for chatting to us. Uh, first of all, you look amazing. Uh, Vegas obviously agrees with you. Well, thank you. I love it here. It's my second home. Last time I was in Vegas, I think I put on six kilos in two days from the buffet and room service alone, so you're obviously <laughs> doing something right. Yeah, the restaurants here are incredibly amazing. It's The food is awesome here. Britney's latest single is called Pretty Girls and is a collaboration with Aussie rapper Iggy Azalea. What was it like working with Iggy? She's a very sweet girl. She has a great accent and um, they sent me the song and it just, it was amazing and I, I was huge a fan of hers so um, it was an honour to work with her. She's a very cool girl. And speaking of new material, when are we going to hear more, uh, more Britney? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. I'm taking just a day at a time. I actually, I've been on this run. This is the longest run of Vegas shows that I've done in a long time. So I'm gonna have to have like a two week break and then I'll probably get to work again. Britney has racked up six number one albums, eight Grammy nominations and six Billboard Music Awards. And after some pretty serious ups and downs. Oh my God, would you please get out of the way? Brit is back on top and rumored to be engaged to her boyfriend, Charlie Ebersole. But how does she define success? Success just, it depends on, a, you know, a state of mind and how you feel um, spiritually. Um, I, you know, put my family first and, um, well, God first and my family second and my career comes third. So I just try to balance those things out. And um, when I'm doing a really God good job with that, success comes my way. <laughs> People are, seem to be lining up to, to work with you. Uh, who would you like to work with next? I would love to work with Gwen Stefani. I think she's really cool. She was actually my next door neighbor in um, Los Angeles for a while. Um, I swam with her husband, so it was really cool. But I'd like to work with Ludacris, Miley, Celine Dion, Mariah Carey. There's so many great artists out there. The air conditioner just came on. Thank you, God. Since Britney hit the Vegas Strip, her award-winning show has been playing to massive crowds and Brit is rumoured to be taking home nearly half a million dollars each show, or around two million a week. So what's in store if you make the trip? I do all my hits and um, they're a lot of fun, but um, next year I'm probably going to change the show up a little bit and add some new stuff to it just for fun. And are, are there any plans? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be shot if I didn't ask this, Brittany. Uh, you haven't been to Australia since 2009. It's 2015, when are you coming back? I will come back very soon. <laughs>